how to make a wallet from a computer keyboard. Don't throw away that old keyboard. You can make a sweet wallet with the circuit sheets inside. You will need a desktop computer keyboard, preferably a PC, a screwdriver, a ruler or tape measure, scissors, and transparent packaging tape. Optional, an Allen wrench, and a razor blade. Step one, flip the keyboard over and unscrew the screws holding it together. Remove the top of the keyboard from the bottom. PC keyboards work best, since you can open most of them with a Phillips head screwdriver. Macs generally require a tiny Allen wrench that can be hard to find. Step two, unscrew the circuit board and remove it. Peel off the sheet of rubber key springs. If the rubber key springs are attached individually to the circuit sheets, remove each one carefully with a razor blade. Step three, carefully remove the circuit sheets and gently pull them apart. You'll usually find two circuit sheets and they may be glued together at a few small points. Step four, using a pen, ruler, and scissors, measure, mark, and cut out four pieces of the circuit sheets that are three by four inches each. Make sure that no circuit sheet holes run along the edge of any rectangles. Then, cut out two more pieces, this time making them three by three inches each. Step five, cut a six inch piece of tape and lay it out vertically, sticky side up. Step six, Place the three inch edge of one of the larger circuit sheets horizontally onto the tape, four inches from the top of the tape. Then place the edge of a second three by four inch circuit sheet onto the tape next to the first, leaving a one eighth inch gap between the two sheets. Step seven, the sides of the circuit sheet that you want on the outside of the wallet should be the sides stuck against the tape. Fold the two ends of the tape toward each other and press down. Step eight. Repeat with another piece of tape and the other two 3 by 4 inch circuit sheets. You have now assembled the two pieces of the wallet that will hold bills. Step 9. Stack these pieces on top of each other, with the insides of the wallet facing each other. Cut two 3 inch pieces of tape. Place a piece of tape along the edge of each 3 inch end and fold it over. Trim off any excess. You've now sealed shut the wallet's flaps. If the adhesive side of tape is exposed through the holes in the circuit sheets, cut pieces of tape the same size and stick them to the exposed tape inside the wallet. Step 10. Seal the bottom by folding the wallet and sticking a nine inch piece of tape along the bottom edge. Make sure the tape does not stick to itself. Open the wallet and fold the piece of tape up to seal the bottom. Trim off any excess tape at the ends. Step 11. Place the 3x3 three three inch circuit sheets on the inside of the wallet flush with the bottom left and right corners and tape them in place along the outside edges with a 4 inch piece of tape. Fold the tape over to seal and trim the excess. Step 12. Add 4 pieces of tape to the top and bottom edges of the card slots. Only the inside edges should remain open. Step 13. Cut the top two pieces of tape at an angle to keep the corners from becoming bulky. Then, fold the tape over into the cash slot of the wallet. On the bottom, cut both pieces of tape at an angle to keep the edge of tape away from the wallet corner where it will be prone to peeling. Fold the rest of the tape over to finish securing the card slots. Step 14. Add your items to the wallet, and you're done. Did you know? The history of the keyboard dates back to the first typewriter, which New York-based Remington Company mass-marketed in 1877 to compensate for the drop in gun sales after the Civil War. 